I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the scarlet oak. Scarlet oak, Quercus coccinea, is one of Kentucky's many oaks and is part of the red oak group. It is also called black oak, red oak, or Spanish oak. It is a medium-sized tree that typically grows to 80 feet tall and about 2 to 3 feet in diameter. It generally has poor form with an irregular crown and typically many dead branches throughout the crown are common. The lower trunk often exhibits butt swell due to the chestnut blight and can be a good identifying characteristic in the woods. It is shade intolerant and has a rapid growth rate. Trees can live to 400 years and scarlet oak is named for its brilliant fall color and the acorns are eaten by a variety of wildlife. Scarlet oak is found growing from southwestern Maine into Alabama and Georgia, west into Missouri and Mississippi, and east to the edge of the coastal plain. It is found on a variety of soils, but is most commonly found growing on sandy and gravelly upland slopes and ridges of a southern exposure. Its best growth is in the Ohio River Valley. Scarlet oak is susceptible to a number of insects and diseases, including gypsy moth, fall canker worm, two-line chestnut borer, red oak borer, and oak wilt. Additionally, due to its relatively thin bark, it is susceptible to fire damage. Scarlet oak is deciduous with alternately arranged simple leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are between three to seven inches long, oval in shape, and lobed with very deep sinuses. That's the indentation in the leaves. The leaves usually have between five and nine lobes, and each lobe has a bristle tip, which is a good distinguishing characteristic of the red oak group. The upper surface is shiny green, and the underside is paler, with occasional tufts in the vein axils. Fall color is a showy scarlet red, and the leaves tend to remain on the tree until late autumn. This oak, like other oaks, is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are on slender yellow-green catkins, and the female flowers are on short axillary spikes. Both the male and female flowers appear with the leaves in the spring, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is a small acorn. The acorns are about a half an inch to one inch long, and it has a cap that covers about half of the nut. The cap scales tend to be shiny. The tip of the acorn will usually have concentric rings, as you can see in the photo. The acorns mature in two growing seasons, with acorns ripening in the fall. More than 80% of scarlet oak acorns may be destroyed by insects. Trees begin seed production around 20 years of age, with maximum seed production after 50 years. Seed production is irregular and unpredictable, but in general trees produce good seed crops about every 3 to 5 years. The bark on young trees is grayish brown and has somewhat smooth streaks. As the tree ages, the bark becomes darker, sometimes almost nearly black. The bark develops irregular ridges that are separated by narrow fissures that are very in width. Scarlet oak wood is ring porous and has a fairly coarse grain. The wood is light to medium reddish brown in color, but there can be a fair amount of variation. Red oaks, such as scarlet oak, are not as decay resistant as white oaks and durability is considered minimal. Scarlet oak wood is commonly mixed with other red oak wood when sold as lumber. We know that from the tiny acorn, a mighty oak tree grows, and according to the National Wildlife Federation, oaks are one of the top 10 trees for wildlife because they help wildlife grow. Oaks serve as a host tree for more than 500 Lepidopteran larvae, including the imperial moth larva, many different hair streaks, and dusky wings. These larvae in turn feed the seasonal migratory birds, such as our warblers. The acorns are eaten by woodpeckers, blue jays, small mammals, wild turkey, white-tailed deer, and black bear. And the trees provide good cover because their leaves typically persist longer than other plant associates. Scarlet oak wood is lumped with other red oak wood and shares many of the same traits as northern red oak. It's used for cabinetry, furniture, interior trim, flooring, and veneer. Because it's hardy and has attractive fall foliage, it is a popular shade tree and has been widely planted in the United States and Europe. The national champion scarlet oak as of 2021 is in Mercer, New Jersey. It's 201 inches in circumference, 128 feet tall with a 122 foot crown spread. 
The Kentucky Champion Scarlet Oak is in Bell County at the First Presbyterian Church. It is 189 inches in circumference, 104 feet tall, with an 111-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about National Champion Trees or Kentucky Champion Trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Scarlet Oak. Scarlet Oak is the official tree symbol of the District of Columbia. Native Americans and pioneers used the acorns for food, and the roasted acorns have been ground and used as a coffee substitute. The first scientific observation of this tree were made in 1691. The genus named Quercus is the Latin name for oak, and the species name Coccinea is from the Greek kakos, a seed or berry, in reference to the red autumn coloration of this tree. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park or neighborhood this year, and enjoy our beautiful oak trees, including the scarlet oak.